two popular choices for portable antennas is the link dipole, in this case one covering 40, 30 and 20 metres, and this end fed wire, 20 metres long, or a half wavelength on 40 metres. Today I'll do a head to head comparison, transmitting bursts of RISPA and looking at the signal reports I get from either antenna. You really can't fail with a link dipole and it's that that I'd expect slightly better performance. But the end fed wire is lighter, easier to erect and doesn't require this bulky coax cable. For the end fed I'll just use a short counterpoise about one to one to half metres long. The dipole doesn't require any antenna coupler. Both antennas will be set up in an inverted V configuration. Both ends will be pretty close to the ground, with this spin providing a convenient tie-off point. I'm doing two tests per band on the end fed, then on the dipole, four tests per band, then after that I'll try the end fed again, again two tests per band. More on light hand-carried antennas for portable QRP, check out my latest ebook.